We need to talk about Graham Wright, what the hell's going on with our GM of football. Let's get into it. We know that Graham Wright has left Collingwood, so that was announced a couple of months ago, or maybe last month, um, in just weird fashion, right? So he went away for a year, and we, we all know the story how it goes. You know, they beg him to stay, he doesn't, and there's a parent falling out with Craig Kelly. Now, it puts us in a bit of a precarious situation, and I know we've talked about this before, but there's news coming through that um, heaps of clubs are sounding him out, the AFL is sounding him out, Tasmania is probably sounding him out as well. And it just makes you wonder, what the hell happened at the Pies? Before we keep going, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm nearly on my way to 10,000. We just hit 9,000, which is absolutely amazing. Hit that join to become a member. Um, I'll be doing my member sort of stuff this month in October, cheaper than a regular almond latte. Uh, it would just mean the world to me since I'm doing this full time now, so hit it down below. But let's keep going. So over the last couple of days, it's come out that Adelaide has sought out Graham Wright, has formally um, talked to him about being their GM of football. Adelaide obviously are having a bit of an up and down last couple of years, pretty much since the, since the grand final uh, in 2017 and, and all that stuff that, that came in between that. And Graham Wright is the guy that can turn it all around for any club. He was just instrumental, obviously instrumental at Hawthorne, obviously so, like, you couldn't be more instrumental at Collingwood if you tried. Came, came in at, at 2021, he oversaw, um, you know, Buckley sort of leaving that transition, oversaw the salary cap that was just expanding and um, bursting at the seams, and then we'll have to give away a 1,000 players. Um, he oversaw, Craig, he was on the, 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 the panel that brought Craig McRae to the club, and, you know, we win the premiership because, not because of him, but he was a, a big proponent into why we won that premiership. So, you know, I, I see a lot of Collingwood supporters in the comments saying, oh, it doesn't matter, we can just get any sort of GM of football and, um, you know, Wright didn't really do much or blah, 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 blah. And yeah, we can get any sort of GM of football, but Graham Wright's behind-the-scenes stuff worked so well for the Pies. And, and we get a premiership in the, what was it, two years since he, since he joined in, in 2021. He oversaw, like, everything. And we get a premiership out of it. And now, because of some, who knows, macho falling out, he's not part of us anymore. So from Adelaide, we move over to Carlton. And now Carlton have sort of sounded out Graham Wright to be the new CEO and take over from Brian Cook. So their sort of, their deal or, or what they're sort of talking about is um, to have him under Brian Cook next season and then take over from, from Brian Cook because they're doing a transition of power. So I think Luke Sayers, their president, is not going to be there anymore, Brian Cook. So it's going to be um, a bit of a turnover. So that's probably enticing to him as well. He gets a CEO role because he was sounded out for, um, he wanted the Tasmanian CEO role uh, that went to Brendan Gale. Um, and by all accounts, he wants that bigger opportunity. And even at the Pies, he wanted that bigger, bigger, bigger opportunity. And I just think after, every, after everything that sort of happened, it's a bit... Um, you know, you, they couldn't put they couldn't put their egos aside. Obviously, Craig Kelly and Graham Wright were premiership teammates in 1990, and now, and this is just me speculating, and from what everyone's sort of saying, you, they they didn't put their egos aside, and now we've lost one of the best administrators in football because we couldn't find um, a spot for him, and we give him a sabbatical, and then he comes back and says, "I don't want to go." Uh, sorry, I want to go, um, and then we obviously lose. Um, all of that experience that he has. And I think it's just really upsetting because Craig Kelly, he does well, does, does what, he, you know, what he can do. And I think he's done great. A bit more in the shadow sort of guy. We don't really see a lot of him. Um, but I think we suffered without Graham Wright this year. Um, he worked hand in hand with Craig McRae. And um, I think without him, it really just, really just messed us up um, this year. And obviously we don't make finals. And I don't think he was a huge part of it, but I think if he had been there on the bench or in the administration team, we play finals, and that's just my gut feeling. Now, there has been a few names that have been touted for our GM. We're looking at um, Danny Daly from Brisbane, who was a coach for six years, and then for four years, he's been the GM of football at Brisbane. We're looking at uh, Chris Davies from Port Adelaide, who I don't think we're gonna get um, anymore. Uh, that's sort of, that, that talk's died down. Jimmy Bartell, uh, he has a podcast with Eddie Maguire, so maybe that's, that's maybe, you know, Eddie's in, Eddie's in his ear. Jimmy, Jimmy Bartel was a director at um, the Giants as well. So there are a couple of names. Dan, Danny, Danny Daly, uh, that, the double D, um, seems, seems good. I don't know a lot about him. So if you know a lot about him, uh, stand off in the comments. But um, it looks good. And, you know, with, with some good, highly talented 
respected figures. But I don't think we're going to be able to replace Graham Wright, and it's it's a, such a shame. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of this? Should Graham Wright come out and do a tell-all? I'm hearing that he might. Let me know your thoughts down below. But until then, like, comment, subscribe. Tay family, tay friends, tay friends. And until next time, double shackers. I'll see you later.